A lot of people seem confused about how logic gates work, and it's actually really simple when you know it. I mean, you could just read the description of the item, but here's a short tutorial to explain what they do. Basically, there are three types of logic gates. The AND gate, the OR gate, and the XOR gate. All of these three logic gates have a negative variant, and you basically just add a N at the start, meaning we have the NAND gate, the NOR gate, and the XNOR gate. You can tell how the outputs at the bottom are simply just the opposites of the outputs at the top. So what is it that all logic gates do? Well, it's really simple when you think about it. The AND gate only turns on if input 1 and input 2 is turned on. The OR gate only turns on if input 1 or input 2 is turned on. The XOR gate only turns on if one of the inputs lamp are turned on. Not two, not zero. So what would happen if we had several inputs? Well, it's the exact same thing. Only if all three switches are turned on, the AND gate is going to be turned on. And for the OR gate, it's also the same. It doesn't matter how many are turned on, as long as one of them are turned on, the logic gate is going to be turned on. The XOR gate, well, in Terraria, turns on only if one of the inputs are turned on. Zero inputs is turned off, two inputs is turned off, but specifically one input is turned on. So let's just do a test. If we want to be able to open this door using the switches, we can simply just connect a wire between them and it opens and closes from both sides. However, what if we wanted a lock on the door where we'll only be able to open the door when the switch is active? Well, we know we want to open the door if you press the switch to open the door and if the lock is open. So that just means we're going to use an AND gate. Let's first place the gate, place down our lights on top of the gate, break the wire, connect one switch to one of the lamps and then connect the other switch to the other lamp. Make sure to use a different color though so they don't connect together. Now we can connect the logic gate itself to the door and this should be working. We can now see that when I try to open the door using the switch, nothing happens until I flick the lock and then the door starts to open again. However, you might have noticed something weird. In other games, I would use a large variety of all of these to build the contraptions I need. However, in Terraria, the AND gate is nearly the only one I use. You can see throughout my entire logic world, it's almost all only the AND gates. Even the blue gates are AND gates with faulty lamps on top of them. So why are AND gates so useful in Terraria? Well, mostly for two reasons. The first one being that Terraria doesn't work on a binary state. A wire isn't either on or off, but instead wires only send impulses. And the second reason being that faulty lamps are in the game and they're actually really useful, but you mostly only use them together with AND gates. The next video coming up will be about how faulty lamps work, so stay tuned if you want to learn more about them. But that's it for now, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.